So let's see here. Can I get subtitles? Because that will be helpful. All right, cool. Speech subtitles on. Great, 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 great. New game. Um, if you've not played a slide and tap adventure game before, I'd recommend you play the short tutorial. Yeah, sure. Let's check out the tutorial. All right, so hello and welcome. First, we'd like to show you how to discover things in the environment. In this case, a humble red arrow. Press your finger on the green arrow tip, then slide the finger across the red arrow. Oh, shit. Messed up here. Okay. Slide your finger across to the red arrow tip. As your finger approaches, a blue pulsing circle will fade to indicate that you are close to a hot spot. All right, so this is how we discover hot spots. Hot spots mark things in the environment which we can interact with. Cool. Hit me icon show you what actions are available for a particular hot spot. All right. Tap magnifying glass. All right, so we can inspect things that come up like this. Uh, let's see here. Just set George to walk to the red arrow tip. Tap the floor at that point. All right. Makes sense. All right. Time to get George to pick up by sliding your finger over the torch hotspot, lifting your finger, and then tapping the pickup icon. Okay. Well done, we picked up a torch. Tap the back of the hollow to scroll the screen in your inventory. All right, cool. Examine it by tapping it. All right. For the batteries, pick those up too. I'm guessing we can probably put those in the flashlight. Makes sense. Open my inventory. Touch one, slide your finger across the other. Okay. We successfully used batteries on the torch to power it up. Finally, we can use inventory items on hotspots in the environment. environment. All right. So I guess we want to shine some light on this little goat here. All right. You have now learnt what you need to play the game. <laughs> and check the hint spot if we get stuck. All right, cool. So new game. Cool cutscene. Catalonia, cool. Let's see what kind of adventure we can find here. <laughs> So I guess we're defending, but we have to hide the books. We must find it. Papa! Yago, go with your mother to the trap. Ah, magical necklace, of course. Something tells me that'll be very important later. Yes, Papa. We will join you shortly.
I think this animation is pre-rendered. Like, if you look kind of close, like it's probably not coming through on the stream, but it seems like there's um, very minor video artifacting. Like, we're watching a, a video file being played and not, like, 3D stuff actually being rendered. So I haven't played any of the other Broken Sword games, so kind of lost as far as um, what's happening in these games, other than I guess this painting is obviously important since the weird dudes came and uh, with guns to steal it. Okay, and a motorcycle helmet with a gun. That's cool. Stealing the painting once again. Gallery owner was dead. I guess sometimes playing the hero doesn't pay. My company had insured you a position, so I had a plan to sell. The cops would be here too. I didn't have much choice. All right. Well, looks like we've got ourselves a crime to solve. Priest is giving last rights. Let's see. Can we move over here? Something tells me we want to inspect this stolen painting here. Yeah, no shit. This is where I was hung. This is a speakerphone for the alarm. It didn't. Oh, something tells me these wires should be together, maybe. How do I select that? that wasn't a useful thing. Oh, I guess it does work, huh? We suspect foul play. Alright, is there anything else we can do on this? A wire had been cut. Alright. <laughs> this was an inside job. See, I don't know if I can do much else here. Pressure pads appear to be working. All right, well, so we know that the alarm was tampered with. Uh, is there any sense in looking at these other paintings, I guess? been sabotaged so what made the stolen one all right well i mean we've established that this painting is somehow special uh, so the way i'm controlling this is basically just like swooping my finger around the screen looking for various hot spots um, which appears like it's just setting off every single alarm in the joint. So this door is locked with a keypad. Let's see if we can find that code. Um, let's see here. There's chewed gum on the floor. Something tells me that is going to be important, as it seems very strange for there to be gum that you can look at. The thief left a pizza box behind, and then, well, no surprise there. The 
guy must have been hungry. All right, let's go talk to this dude if we can. It was Hector Lane, France's greatest prophet. For a moment, I thought he was. Okay, so this guy's not dead. Oh, I guess I can do things. What do we got here? A pair of nail clippers. <laughs> I, I absolutely love adventure games like this because, um, like, you just know that those nail clippers are gonna just come in somewhere insane. Like the whole reason that this guy exists here is so you can get those nail clippers as part of what, no doubt, is going to be some completely nonsensical puzzle. Let's see, what else can we do here? I'm just looking to make sure I'm not missing anything else. Like it seems like the, um, the thing that we wanna do is get the code for the door. Company ensure the expedition. <laughs> Clip his nails and glue to your face. If you guys want, if you guys are into adventure games and you want an adventure game that has absolutely insane uh, puzzle logic, look for the uh, the Hector series on the App Store. Um, like one of the very first puzzles that you need to do involves like something insane, like combining a used condom with a coat hanger to create some kind of scoop to get your keys out of the toilet or something crazy like that. Like it is seriously just complete hunt and pack. Um, Puzzle solving, which is weird. All right, let's see if we can inspect this body now. Definitely taking these glasses. Oh, can't take them, just adjusting them. So, what is this? All right. Tiny perfume bottle. So, so far we have a perfume bottle and a nail clippers. So far that doesn't really do me too much other than the ability to take a nice shower. Alright, can we take said toupee? No, I guess we can just interact with it. Alright, well. Dude got shot straight in the heart. So far, no luck on anything to do with the key code. And it doesn't seem like we can interact with it to try it. All right, well, let's see if we can go outside. can't go outside. Father? Yes, oh, cool. So here, let's ask him if he knows the code. Do you know the code to get into the office? I could always pray and ask for divine guidance. All right, let's see what else to do. I guess we'll just... We'll ask him about everything. We'll start with, uh, let's do these clipped wires. A wire is a painting to log is this is kind of a, a pretty neat approach at uh, dialogue here, how you just get the icons. Right. 
All right, so if that's true and I can't go outside until I resolve it, I guess we have all of the keys inside of this room here. Hmm. Oh, cool. So we're getting further dialogue options here. What do you know about the man who painted the Hellebuck Theater? Except he was a man playing with fire. The fire burning. A man playing with fire. Let's see what this dude knows about the painting. Tell me about the stolen key. Whoever this person is who stole the man's head. Did Owen say anything? Car, I want to get in. This guy doesn't seem like he has a whole lot of information that is very useful to me. Let's see what he thinks of the nail clippers. Do you recognize these? <laughs> I'm not sure what the point is either. Uh, and finally, the cologne here. All right, well, I guess this guy is almost useless. Slice of pizza. Okay, cool. So now our inventory is nail clippers. Uh, oh, this dude took his rosary out. Father? Oh, I guess that's just his idle animation. Yes, Miss Hathaway. Now I can ask him about the pizza. Would you like to try <laughs> pizza? A man has just died. No, I don't want pizza. What a jerk. All right, so I guess we've exhausted. Can we wake this guy up? All right, so spray some cologne on his face. Wake him up. All right, let's see what this is. If this guy has the code, that would be great, but we'll see. It smells like the seventies. It smells like where am I? You painted. Something tells me this guy is going to love the pizza. Wait, no, go back. Ah, we were right. He did want the pizza. Uh, can I just drag the pizza onto him? There you go. I found a slice of pizza. I found a slice of pizza. For two, boy. Right. Board simulacrum. Okay, we don't want it. Now can you say that? Now give it yours. Given the circumstances, that was surprisingly acceptable. All right, let's get to the point where he gives us the key code and we look at the footage. All right, when do I get the point where I get the various dialogue options for this guy? What the? <laughs> Do I know you? <laughs> what is happening here? Yes, our paths have crossed in the Glebe Gallery. The father, the man with his mustache. I didn't know you. Uh, afraid not. Really, I'm sorry, but I'm having trouble remembering your name. I'm George. All right, Stokes. so. I insured the expedition. Oh, uh, 
hope you have deep pockets there, my boy. Could I ask you a few questions, Mr. Lane? Fire away. Give me this key code. I don't suppose you know the code of that door, do you? Of course. I am, after all, the behavior of the detective. But I couldn't possibly give you access. Couldn't possibly give access until the police have gone. All right, cool. Let's turn the heat up on this guy. Mr. Lane, you're really going to have to give me the code of that door. And why, pray, should I do that? Because the way the crime... I mean, it does seem like he's the prime suspect, especially if this is well insured. We both know you're innocent, Mr. Lane, but not just so we have to keep things so simple. I might be able to get them off your case, but in exchange, I'd like to close your office door. That's preposterous. Police would have neither evidence nor motive. Funny you should mention Turns out we do have evidence. Bump bump bum sabotage alarm. Someone sabotaged the alarm on the stolen train. A wire was tapped. What? Who could have gotten the alarm system working? Exactly. It was an inside job. An inside job, Mr. Lane. Sure, I thought it was just a device. Well, I'm afraid that's the way the cops are gonna work. That's preposterous. How could I um, you could cut the wire with the nail clippers. I stole out of your pocket, you Are fat you nail clippers, fuck. Yes, they have my initials marked down on them. Huh. The perfect instrument for cutting the alarm in the same condition. Hmm. What are you saying? The alarm was sabotaged. Well, the alarm was sabotaged, Mr. Lane. It was an inside job. Are you accusing me? How dare you? Um, no reason to kill Henri. No motive whatsoever. I feel like this dude's death was just kind of like collateral damage. Alright, so give me the code to the door. I don't know what this map is. I guess I'll ask him about the painting. An unusual painting turns up at your exhibition and gets stolen. Then let's see it, does it? And your point here is... The cops are gonna Very long conversation here. But you give me the code to CCTV room, and I'll do my best to point him elsewhere. I cannot let you into that room, Mr. Stobart. Besides, Henri found John out of the steel, not me. I had nothing to do with it. All right, so this dude could give me the key. This so I get in this room. That would be great. been out of town for several days. But last night I retired early. Just saying. You're not going to scare me into giving you that door code, you know. I was onto something here. He I was sweating and it wasn't pretty. Alright, cool. Let's How about keep it? up the pressure here. Give me, the door code yet? give me a single reason why I should. I don't know. There's a dude on your floor that's dead. <laughs> Again, you cut the wire with the nail clippers. Like what? Guilty by way of nail clippers. All right. So you and Henri, you and I have. I feel like I'm in like some dialogue loop here. Trouble is, I'm not seeing any tears, Mr. Lane. Are you trying to tease me? The cops will be looking for a motive. You're going. All right, so um, <laughs> how about some more cologne? I don't think so. As Mr. Lane, this robbery, as I, uh, I will take my chances. You're not getting the. So you've been out of town and hit the sack early last night. That's right. I've not been near the gallery for days. All right, so we asked this guy. Absolutely everything. How about it, Mr. Lane? Certainly not. Guilty by way of nail clippers. I've been away from Paris for several days and only got back this morning. Hmm. Let's see if this priest dude has anything else to say.
What does he make of all of this? So this dude's told me everything he can. Is there anything else you can tell me about my malady? I feel like I'm missing like some piece of evidence that I can pressure this guy with. So I need to go outside. Okay. I mean, I agree. Outdoor urinals are pretty awesome. It is a really good thing about Europe. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, I feel like we're kind of on the verge of solving like the uh, the first scene here. Um, so I think I'm going to go to the next game to avoid any spoilers um, because what's probably going to happen here. All right. Well, here, we'll, we'll just try. I'm guessing that this waiter is going to tell me that he saw the other guy. Instead, we're getting into a philosophical discussion about art, which is cool. Uh, this is actually the second game for people asking. Uh, first game was Avoid Sensory Overload. Second one was Battlefield Civil War. This is Broken Sword Five: The Serpent Curse. And next game up on the list, which we'll be switching to shortly, is uh, LS Infinity, followed by Final Fantasy VI. I have seen the gist that like all of us. Alternatively, Final Fantasy III, if you don't buy into the uh, Japanese numbering scheme. This game is uh, Broken Sword Five: The Serpent's Curse. Uh, it should be four ninety nine U S. when it launches. I think is the equivalent to six forty nine New Zealand. Which people in chat were saying uh, was cheaper than the Steam iteration of the game. Which is cool because I mean I, I really like playing adventure games on the iPad so. You get it cheaper and you get to play on the iPad. That seems pretty great overall. All right, so we got, as, as expected, this dude gave me the clue that I needed to go back and pressure this guy. So we'll see if he gives me the code and then switch to the next game because I don't want to. I don't know. Part of part of adventure games is figuring all this stuff out by yourself, and this is just kind of the obvious, somewhat obvious conclusion. How about it, Mr. Lane? Ready to give me the door code yet? Certainly not. Give me a simple reason why I should. Guilty by way of failure. Ah, you are not away because I have this check of yours. Boom. Take a look at this. What of it? It's your bill from the cafe next door. So it's dated yesterday. Last night. All right, so this dude should give me the code, I'm thinking, maybe. I feel like the police are going to come and just ask for the code anyway, making this whole line of questioning pretty silly. Like, I, I guess I don't really know how French police procedure works, but it seems hard to believe that they would just be like, oh, you had a locked door? Pff, eh, don't worry about it. 6397 is the code. 
All right. So we made it through the first section here, kind of solved the puzzle, got this dude to the point where he would give us the code. So I don't really want to spoil what's going to happen next in case anyone wants to play this game themselves. So that's basically like the opening act, I guess, is um, figuring out how to get the code on that. So let's uh, move on to Alice Infinity.